Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Colorado Rockies. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton and a couple of division rivals going head-to-head -head today, Siggy. Next offering misses, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch popped up. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Going forward, hey, there's still there. a chance that his club can win this ball game. That one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. In the air, right field. Veen drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that. And there's two away. Hands not let him get extended because that's where the potential for damage exists. Hey, Checks over to first, back safely. Time called now before the payoff pitch. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Hammer, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. That ball was blasted, Boog, and as broadcasters, we can go weeks without seeing a ball hit 115 miles per hour, which is what StatCast tells us there. He has all the tools to anchor a World Series lineup. Yeah, he's one of those rare talents. He's got power at the plate. Bryant over to second on the first double play and that's the inning and one two walks in the inning already and he right just down, doesn't right seem spot. comfortable on, out now, there kid. like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them Rogers he throws the first and that is that to the right side off balance that's throw that. in time and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Next pitch is outside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Hey, come on, baby. See it. And the right hater deals. And there's ball four. On me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Throw over to first. Elliott back on a dive. There goes the runner. That's in for a strike. Contreras throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base. Riding to the plate. That ball to base. Throw to third. Save. The pitch. That's hard hit on the line. Got it. Nice grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Dodgers strand a couple. They still lead it, though, 10-5. Well, this team was ready from the first pitch of the ball game. Swinging the bats, scoring runs, just very aggressive. I feel like they set the tone, and that tone created a momentum that took them all the way to the finish line. Nice win today. And your final, 10-5. to five. Dave Roberts and company.
Welcome to Dodger Stadium. The start of the weekend is upon us. It's Friday evening baseball on the show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat. Curtis Elliott leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, so he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. One down. Curtis Elliott steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. He flexes his power with that swing. His 67th home run of the year, it's 2-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Ballpark, bottom of the inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Curtis Elliott. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the get ball down, game. I tell down. you what, his teammates... And it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double, and his second hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Got him on the off-balance throw. Inning over. Curtis Elliott, the next to hit. Singing, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. That's out to center field. Senzel makes the catch, and that'll do it. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Rudder goes again. Pitch inside. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, he's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one. Homered earlier, now he swipes second, showing off the speed. Really fun to watch him play the game. Pitch that you can handle. Kicks and fires. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. He's in there. Challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. The punch out there. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Here comes a pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Senzel racing to the right. Brings it in. That is the inning. Bounced up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. And that is the ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. Coming to you live from Southern California. Saturday afternoon action on the show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. 
First pitch coming your way next. Come on, Biggin, stay hot up there. Payoff pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Into the dive, and he got it. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Curtis Elliott. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Bounce to third. Dive, and he's got it. The throw. Hines. Toss to second. To first, not in time. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more. Here's the pitch. Rudder goes again. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Ow! And that. That one lifted to left. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that'll do it. Chris Elliott getting ready to hit. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. First pitch, not close. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Gone! He sends it out of here. His 68th homer of the year. It's 5-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. This was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final score, 5-2. Live from Dodger Stadium, today the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. At first with no outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. And the pitch. Rip to right, base hit. You can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him right, into motion. Right here. here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Strike in there. Tag. Got him. What a throw to end the end. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today, especially no, no, for the time, hitters. Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried. Ah, ground ball, and that's through the infield. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's now a six-run lead. The cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Dives back. Ow! Hitter watching that go by. And a one-two. Hit in the air, right field. Smith coming in on it. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two outs. I'd say these guys really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence, and you want to be feeling really good about how you're playing, as well as to your left and your right, your teammates, that they're on track as well. 12-5 is your final.